515. <laughs> 5.15, here we go on a Friday. Starting today, you can feel the fright at Darien Lake. Fright Fest takes over the park in just a few hours. And with Six Flags now taking over managing the theme park, promises to be nothing short of super scary this year. We have 7 Eyewitness News reporter Tweenla Nugent telling us all the spooky details. Yeah, a lot of changes here to Darien Lake now that Six Flags is on board. And let me tell you, it's pretty scary. We know that there are no scare actors here right now, but they're coming and it's making me nervous already because we're just here in the dark and I'm terrified of the dark. Thank goodness I have Mary Lolliger <laughs> with me this morning. Thank you so much for waking up. Tell us a little bit about what it means for you to have Fright Fest back after a little while of not having some Halloween celebrations here. So one of the first things that happened when we were all told that we were going to be part of the Six Flags family again this year was, well, Fright Fest. Are we getting Fright Fest? So we're super excited to have it back. It's going to be bigger and scarier than we've ever had in the history of the park. Absolutely, and we're expecting so much. What kinds of things can people see when they come? Well, there's going to be a bunch of different kinds of scares. We have four free scare zones, uh, which range from themes like uh, zombies and voodoo to we have some creepy, floaty, shadowy creatures down here. We have a big top freak show that's free. We also have three paid haunted attractions, which I'm terrified to go through in the dark or in the daylight. So. Yeah. It'll be great. It's going to be scary. And we're standing in front of these coffins right now. You guys have actually something to talk about. Announce the coffin challenge. Yes. Yeah, so uh, thanks to our sister park in St. Louis being so excited and receptive of their 30 hour coffin challenge. All the Six Flags parks nationally are going to do this um, on October 13th. So you can spend 30 hours in a coffin on park. You stay on property all night overnight for 30 hours um, and you get meal breaks, um, bathroom breaks. There's all kinds of stipulations. We're going to have registration forms on our website in the next couple days. So it's going to be crazy. Absolutely. And just to give you an idea, we'll kind of step into our yes. respective coffins here, but you'll be laying in them all for those 30 hours, right? Yes. Yeah, so uh, you'll be able to sit up for meal breaks, but basically uh, you'll just kind of be laying. You can bring your pillows and blankets and make yourself as comfortable as you'd like <laughs> in a coffin. <laughs> yeah. And I'll tell you, uh, it's really scary in the dark. So I don't know how I feel about it just period. And that's a long time to be afraid of the dark. And I will say I have been to Six Flags Fright Fest before. They are horrifyingly scary. And if the roller coasters weren't scary enough, you have all of this to add to it. So stay with us. We've got a lot more to show you this morning. We're live at Darien Lake. I'm Tweela Nugent, Whoa. 7 Eyewitness News. Hmm. Okay, oh. so we're making some news here. Things are changing now for me. Right? So you <laughs> can lay in a box with your pillow uh -huh. and your blanket mm -hmm. for 30 hours, get out, go to the bathroom and get meals, and no one will bother you? I, I'm game. I'm I'm in now. <laughs> and if you win, you get 300 bucks. You can have it. Just have it. You're there for 30 right. hours. And, it's almost uh, like a spa retreat. Okay, so let me just huh. look. October 13th, which yeah. is what they were talking about. October 13th is Saturday, so it's two okay. Saturdays from tomorrow. Okay. okay. Uh, so if you're interested in doing this coffin challenge, staying right. in the box for 30 hours, mm. let us know. Yeah. I just want to get out. Are you gonna do it? Yeah. Well, I think I can get out at one to watch Bill's game yeah. and I go back in. <laughs> Do you go get a four-hour break? That's a really good break? point. Yeah. That's a really good point. What's just that? bring your phone and stick it to the top, and then you Ooh. won't even have to move. Just Jeez. lay there. Goodness. Resourceful, Madison. Oh, I like that. that. Not saying I've taken 30-hour naps before. Yeah. I'm just saying I might have a little bit of experience. God. That's it. <laughs>